Hello everyone, my name is Vic and for today I'm going to share with you some price analysis of the top coins for today. So, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Stellar, Litecoin, Cardano, Monero, Tron price analysis. Okay, on November 2. Right, so the inflows of crypto investment from Grace firm Grayscale have topped. $330 million year to date, which is the highest since the firm started operations five years ago. A breakdown of the investor profile shows that a major chunk of the money came from the institutions, which is of note given the prevailing bearish sentiment throughout the year. Morgan Stanley has categorized cryptocurrencies as a new institutional investment class. In its report titled Bitcoin Decrypted, a brief teach-in and implications. Though institutional money has started to flow in, it has been minuscule. Minuscule. Many believe that approval of Bitcoin ETFs will pave the way for investments by institutional traders. However, Reggie Brown, senior managing director and head of ETF trading and financial services firm Cantor Fitzgerald believes that Bitcoin's ETFs will become a reality only after a strong regulatory framework is in place for the asset class. Market manipulation is also an important factor that tends the credibility of cryptocurrencies. Nasdaq, the second largest stock exchange in the world, is confident that its market surveillance, surveillance technology can prevent manipulation. If successful, this will provide a major boost to the crypto trading community. So Bitcoin to USD pair. So Bitcoin dipped close to the first support of 6,212 on October 31, where buying emerged. Prices are currently moving towards the moving averages, which will act as a stiff resistance. If the bull scale above the moving averages a rally to the top range at 6,832 is probable. The BTC USD pair will signal a trend reversal above 6,832. The new uptrend can push prices to 7,400 and above it to 6 to 8,400. If the bears defend the moving averages, the virtual currency will attract selling that can drag it to 6,200. If this support breaks, a retest of 6,075 to $5,900 will be in the cards. A breakdown of $5,900 can result in panic selling, quickly dragging prices to $5,450 and $5,000 levels. Therefore, we suggest maintaining the stops at $5,900. It is difficult to predict which way the price will escape. Therefore, we have provided the critical levels to watch out for on both sides. So that is for the BTC USD pair. For the Ethereum USD pair, the most have defended the 188.35 level on October 31. Currently, Ethereum is attempting to break out of the 20-day EMA, which is flattening out. Above this level, the 50-day SMA might act as a strong resistance if the bulls close UTC time frame above the 50-day SMA. A quick rally to 249 will be in the cards. So we anticipate our trend reversal above 250. Therefore, traders can buy on a close above 250 with the stop at 188. The first target is a move to $322. If the Ethereum USD pair turns down from either of the overhead resistances and breaks 188, it can retest the support at 167.32, below which can fall can extend which the fall can extend to 136 we suggest traders wait for the breakout before initiating any long position because the price action inside the range can be random and volatile okay so for the rest i'm just going to uh, read a little except for eos okay okay so the ripple 
XRP to USD pair, so Ripple has been gradually moving higher for the past three days, reaching close to the top of the tight range. Okay. For Bitcoin Cash and USD pair, the bulls have pushed Bitcoin Cash back to the triangle. Failure of the bears to capitalize on the breakdown of the symmetrical triangle is a bullish sign. It shows that lower levels are attracting buyers and the owners are unwilling to sell their holdings below a certain price. Okay, so that's for Bitcoin Cash. Uh, for EOS, USD, the bulls have again managed to hold the support at $5. Currently, EOS has risen back to the moving averages, both of which are flat. The RSI has also recovered to the midpoint. The EOS USD pair might consolidate between $5 to $6 for some more time. A break out of this range can carry the digital currency to $6,830, uh, six, rather, $6.83, rather, whereas a breakdown can sink it to $4.49. We expect a new uptrend to start if the price sustains above $6,000. 6.83 traders who are holding long positions can keep their stops at 4.90 okay so that is for EUS for XLM the bulls held the trend line of support on October 31 currently Stellar is attempting to scale above the moving averages the zone between 0.24 and 0.27 might offer stiff resistance okay for Litecoin, Litecoin has held the support zone of 49.46 for the fourth time. Though the bulls are succeeding in holding the supports, they are unable to push prices higher. Every bounce has made lower high shown as rectangles on the chart. Okay. So the bears might again offer resistance at the moving averages and the downtrend line of the descending triangle. Okay, for the Cardano USD pair, the bulls are attempting to bounce off the support at 0.07 dollars. Cardano is likely to face resistance at the 20-day EMA and the trend line of the symmetrical triangle. A failure to scale this level might attract another another round of selling that will retest. The immediate support of 0.707 dollars. Okay, if the support breaks, the Cardano USD pair can slide the next support at 0.06 on a break above the av moving averages, a rally to the top of the range at 0.09 is possible. We shall post a long position when a new buy setup develops. Okay, for the Monero USD pair. The bounce from the support at $100 has reached the 20-day EMA, which is acting as resistance. Both the moving averages are flattening out, which suggests that Monero might remain range-bound for a few more days. For Tron uh, USD pair, Tron has pulled back towards the moving averages, both of, the fl of which are flat. This shows that the range-bound action is likely to continue for a few more days. Okay, so those are the price analysis of some of the top coins. So, okay. So as you can see, um, you can visit it. Um, you can read the full um, article here at Coin Telegraph, right? Okay, and also there's also another. Um, uh, subscription website that is very very interesting as you can see the name of these is preferredcurrency.news so they also uh, offer um, price analysis and crypto updates in their newsletter aside from that they also offer or give their subscribers tips and and the top coins of the day Okay, so this is only for fifteen dollars a month or one hundred eighty dollars a year. So if you want, if you don't want to be left behind, please subscribe now at preferredcurrency.news. So also, you can also earn crypto here at the their website by becoming an affiliate. So click affiliate.
at the upper right corner and also in the newsletter so there's a picture there in the newsletter inside that you can click and it will redirect you to this page okay so once you have uh, opened this page um, if you still don't have or doesn't have your login credentials you can register and if you already have your login or credentials because the password or the first password that you're going to have is automated or auto generated okay so it will be uh, given to you after you register so once you log in there uh, just change your password okay and you can access or you can have your um, affiliate link where you you will be using it uh, in your post inside at the creatives menu right so that is it for today so please don't forget to subscribe at preferredcurrency.news for $15 a month or $180 a year you can use fiat or cryptocurrency also so you don't have to worry if you still um, if you uh, would like to subscribe using fiat you can subscribe here by clicking here paypal or if you want to subscribe using crypto you can click here okay so i think that's it for today guys so i just want to say that i am not a financial advisor and everything i say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto so you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself so my name is vic uh, signing off